Hello, this is Kelly from Real Pursuit, and today we're working on a little envelope folio. And we're gonna use some uh, little, little envelopes here. Normally I make these into bigger books, so you can make the whole book by gluing one side of the envelope to the, to the next envelope and so on. And then you just take the last flap and you flip it over and then you've kind of covered the spine. So that works pretty good. Uh, we're just going to make a small one today. I think maybe three pages or three envelopes. So I guess three pages. And when I do this, I always put glue on this flap and then I put it down. And then I glue this flap and then I put it down. And then at the end, I can just flip that over and you basically have covered up your, your that visual spine. You can even put yarn or ribbon in between here to kind of have those sticking out at the ends. So this is sort of a no sew deal it doesn't involve signatures uh, the first here are the colors the paper coordination that I'm gonna use but first I'm gonna color these envelopes a different color because I, I never am crazy about white we're just gonna try to give them color and do it the easy way so I sort of came across this by accident as things usually happen. I was cleaning up my table and found that a an ink pen that that had leaked onto the, the table. So I was cleaning it up with wet wipe because that's what I had next to me and I realized that all that ink got on my wet wipe and so I had some I was cleaning up the table and I had some junk mail sitting there so these are just like bingo daubers. I had some junk mail envelopes sitting there, so I just kind of started using up the ink on the envelopes. And this is much, much, much faster than using an ink dauber and going over the whole thing. I mean, that was like two seconds and almost the entire envelope is covered already. So yeah, it works really, really good. If you're the wetter your wet wipes, it works well. Put a little more ink on there. Close that up. And I'm just gonna do, do both sides. So that's one done. And now let's just try I'm going to get another wipe. Oh my gosh, I just accidentally flung my turquoise one. Oh yeah, it looks like we're not going to talk about that. Anyway, <laughs> so this is Distress Oxide. So, wow, that went on really fast. So I'm really really liking that and the distress oxide is fun this is like a brushed corduroy yeah okay but anyway the the oxide is nice because it does do some kind of different things when you add water to it so wow that looks really really neat all right I'm gonna do one more so those are all colored and it it was really fast. I better put this cat back on, my ink dauber. And this kind of bled onto the other one a little bit. It's cool. All right, so now we're gonna put this flap down. We're gonna get our glue. Hope everyone is doing well today. I think it was kind of a gloomy day. I don't know what it was, but it was something. That. Now this can cause a problem sometimes if it gets a little wet. So, but I'm going to cover that right away. Oh, oh no. I was supposed to do my turquoise in the middle. Oh, silliness. I'm just going to re-glue that. There we go. 
go. That's much better. And then I want to take, so you still want that flap, those flaps to kind of line up like so. We've got front page, second page, and then back. I think I'm just gonna glue this one like this. I did, I'm not gonna flip it over. It, the flipping over is really nice if you have a thicker book and you're not crazy about the spine, but the spine looks kind of cool. It's got a little that little bit of turquoise showing through. So I'm just gonna glue this shut because this is gonna be my cover anyway. Kind of busy, that's okay. So now I've got this nice distressed edge all set to go. And we're gonna have a little craft avalanche there. The hole punch hit the glue bottle and the glue bottle hit the binder clip. <laughs> and that's my life. <laughs> I've got some fun little things that we're going to do inside the book, so I'm hoping you're going to like them. Okay, so this is ready to just add like a pre-made cluster, something along those lines. A few things here. Oh, or that one, <laughs> or this one. So I'll just kind of, oh, I kind of like that one. I don't know if I should put it on something like a, a color to make it kind of pop. Maybe I'll just put it against this. Yeah, I like that better. So we're just gonna give this a little border. need a little ink, something or other. I'm gonna try. So yeah, that's that. Although you can see it, this is like, some of this edge is already pre-inked. This is from our vellum backed clusters. That we that I did the other day in a video so okay so now this is one of the things that I'm kind of excited to show you let's see here I'm just gonna cut this out so I've cut down this uh, little cardstock. I've used a thicker piece because I'm actually going to cut a pocket into this piece of paper. I do suggest using cardstock for this and then I'm going to take uh, my exacto knife and I think I'm going to use this cup. So I'm just going to take this stuff. So basically I'm just going to cut right along along the cup, the curve of the cup. And I'm gonna make note to stay away from the edges, pretty far away from the edge of the uh, paper. So I don't wanna get it too close to this edge. I'll just kind of crease that both sides. And you can go all the way through the paper, which apparently I didn't do. There we go. Put a little far on that, and then just uh, trim up the edges just slightly. You could even give yourself like a couple millimeters gap there, and that would work as well. Okay. 
and then we have a little pocket. Let me show you how this works. I don't know what I'm going to put in there, but let me use this as an example. So then I could just slide it in like so. So when I glue it down, I'm going to ink around the edges here, but uh, when I glue it down, I'm going to, I can glue everything from here up. So like all of this I can glue. And then I can just glue along the edge and the bottom. Not real crazy about this ink color. So I'm just going to use my walnut stain there. I like that a little better. There we go. All right, so let's glue that down. Let's see how it looks and how it works. This is kind of a turning out to be kind of a grungy one. But you don't have to make it grungy. That's just how this is one. This one's kind of working out to be. There we go. All right, gluing down. So I can glow, go all the way up to that edge, this whole section here. And then I just go along that edge below. And then we place her down. And yeah, this one's probably a little wide. Well, I guess it fits. It's pretty good actually. Comes over the edge a bit, but that's all right. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. But first, I'm going to cut down this envelope. So that's one of the things you can do with these envelopes is when you trim off the ends, and I'm going to trim this one off a little bit more. You wouldn't have to trim that much if you didn't want to, but I am going to trim a little bit more. So this is going to be a bit shorter, but I am going to try and cut it even. It doesn't look very even. There we go. Oh, that's better. Okay, and then I can just cover this with paper and then use that as a pocket for like an index card or something with a tap. So that one's set. Let's figure out another shape for this. I am thinking I could do like a V shape for a pocket. I could do a straight line to make this kind of pocket Obviously, I could, I could do the opposite um, oval. I could even do wavy if I wanted to, but I think that the wavy would probably end up, whatever went in there would get caught. So we could do them both the same way, or and you can also do an angle. So basically the pocket this way. I'm just gonna do that. So it's gonna be like a tuck spot. And I suppose I can use my ruler. That would be a great idea. That would be a great idea. Okay, and like I said, don't get too close to the edges. So you just make sure you go through the paper all the way. All right, and for this one, you can glue this whole entire side and then along the edge, just like you would if this was like a triangle pocket. So you would just glue here and here, and then it would tuck in there. So pretty, pretty straightforward, I think. So it's gonna go in like this. So I'm gonna glue down this. Here we go. Hope I didn't make that more confusing. I tried to make it less confusing, but that doesn't always work. <laughs> the goal. But, you know. So our glue's all set. Oh, this down. And then just find a little something or other. And you just pop it in like that. I mean, it's so, so simple. 
unbelievably simple. I'm gonna do another one. I'm looking for something that kind of match this turquoise. And also go with this distressed kind of look. I don't know if this book is gonna lend itself. Mm, kind of like this, this side. I'll just check the rest to make sure. Oof. Oof. Okay, that's the one instead. I did like that one though, but you are unnecessary for this project. So going along that same idea, I'm just gonna cut a out a little box. And then go back to my cutting board. And now I gotta remember how to do this. Okay. Yeah. So you just go on the edge. And this is not a new concept. This is age old. And then I just cut those in, make sure they all sort of came apart like that. And then I don't have the thing I want to put in here, but I'll just use this as an example and I'll cut it to show you. So I cut out this little butterfly card and then I can just slide it right in like so. Like that. And then, oh, look at the leaf. Oof, I might have to just put it the other way. And now when that card comes out, yeah, that's gonna have to happen. So now, <laughs> uh, all right, it's just kind of like put, putsy, putsy putz. Then you have to figure out where you can glue this thing. So you, I know you can glue it here. You can glue it along this edge. So I'm just going to put the thinnest bead just along this entire edge. And then I will put some in the middle. Actually, a little one there is fine. A little one here, a little one here. Okay. And then that card is removable. And it stays in there pretty nicely. So there's that. So now we're going to move on to decorating this envelope. I think I'm going to put uh, some washi tape along the edge of this, the rim of it, just to make it a little stronger and a little, a little prettier. All right, so I'm just going to ink a little bit more on that uh, crease in the middle because that will be visible since I do want that pocket to go all the way down and this is open right here I'm just not gonna glue in this area I'm just gonna glue this part of the pocket and hopefully and then maybe right at the edge so that should probably do it let me just trim this down and then I'm gonna trim there we go so that's why I want it I want it to be able to see that that washi tape which I put on there so I didn't go right to the edge I just didn't I didn't want to do that so it's just folded in half this is the washi tape that I used it did have a little butterfly on it so I thought that went well with this. Okay, so I'm going to use this side. 
I'm gonna glue a line across the bottom, just one basic line, and then I'm gonna go on top of this paper, not putting any glue inside that envelope pocket. Wrong side. Right to the edge. I'm just gonna wipe that glue. And then this side. I'm gonna put this piece down. So I'm just gonna glue uh, this one and this one, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so let's just do a little review. What we have so far, this is what we have for the front. We have a cluster on it. Then in this side pocket, we've got this tuck paper. We've got this with the little corners. Uh, this paper on here, here, this pocket this way, and then I try a diagonal cut to make a pocket like this, and then the back piece. I use the butterflies again. So the benefit to using this is because normally I would do like a background piece, and then I would do this piece on top of it. So it really does help avoid the bulk too. So it's just a much simpler method. So for the last bit, I wanted to add a little decoration here. And I had fun making these little flowers. Uh, they're just, they're, they're basically called scribble flowers. And you take a piece of paper and a marker and you scribble some circles like that and then you just tear it out so that. and I just do the hand tearing so I don't cut it and it creates a nice raw edge which we like we'll get that out of there and then just take your ink Kind of go around the edge. And there you go. You've got a little flower. I thought I would just put some of these in a little cluster on here. And then I had some green, green map paper. It's very green. And I took my leaf punch, although you could just draw a leaf and, and cut it out. That's no big deal, but uh, it's super easy. You don't need the leaf punch, but I was really, really kind of excited about that. And then I did tear off that little, that little stem on the leaf just because, oh, wrong one. I can distress those as well. So I think I'll just glue this down, maybe like that. Glue this one this way. got a little flower cluster deal as a decoration. So, and then we can do another one on the other side. Uh, I don't know, maybe just like one, two, what looks right? Just one. Like that. go and then that leaves the rest of the page for who knows what place here to put something fun in tie I did find some clothing that was velvety so I picked that up at the thrift store and then I trimmed some strips out of it so I'm just gonna uh, glue this 
over because I don't really like the, the inside. So I'm just going to glue it in half with my Fabrifix. You can use uh, tacky glue also. That works. That works really well. Just kind of place it down. Oh my gosh, this is so soft. Unbelievably soft. I really love anything that's velvety. But they're almost always red and black. It's really hard to find other colors in velvet. So that's all glued together. I don't know if I... I'm not really too concerned about trimming this up very much. I can maybe take the ends and do like a, a ribbon end to it. So there's that. So this is my new favorite way to, or lately, just to tie stuff. But, uh, you know, attach it to this end. That's what I'm going to do. So just uh, place it down here. And I did measure this ahead of time so I knew where my ribbon was going to land. So I'll hold that in place. And then I wrap it around. And then I just tuck it in. But this way, at least you know that that uh, ribbon is going to be attached to you know your your book so i added this little image it was high gloss i put some gesso on it and then i added the red velvet to the background so that just kind of tied in the red from here so that was my modified cover which i think is much prettier and then uh, i did uh trim off this so it was a little narrower and then the end is a is narrower as well. So then I just oh poor puppy. Uh <laughs> I got a sad puppy. And then you just tuck it right like that. So that looks cute. Okay. Uh what else? I did add a little more brown distress around the edge. I did distress the oh my goodness. So apparently I'm going to have to do the rest of the video with a dog in my lap. So <laughs> as we open it up, you can see I distressed around the edges. And then uh, I added, because there was nothing really red in here, so I did add some red velvet and some lace on here. And then some more on, on the bottom <laughs> as well. So... A little bit there so that was pretty much all the additions and changes i made it i just think it looks a little bit prettier now bella and i want to say as always thanks for coming along and we'll talk to you later